Data from the World Bank indicates only 53% of Cameroon's population of 23 million have access to electricity. Cooking gas sold in containers can be difficult to afford, especially for Cameroon's poorest. As such, most households have resorted to wood for cooking. I like to I decide to use firewood because I was able to raise 100 francs and buy my, my, my firewood and cook because when I decide to use gas, I will not be able to raise money to buy gas because gas is almost 10,000 or 9,000. The continuous reliance on wood for cooking by a majority of Cameroon's population is putting pressure on the forest and accelerating global warming. As we continue to use more wood from the forest in the name of cooking, we already have the first impact in the sense that quantitatively the forest is reducing. Qualitatively, there are certain species that are being taken off. The burning of this wood brings a lot of smoke and this smoke goes a long way to bring about pollution. It can go a long way to affect the climate because when this burning is done, a lot of carbon dioxide is emitted that will also go on to increase the condensation nuclei that in the long run will fall as rain. But remember that as it goes to increase the condensation nuclei, it also goes to affect the ozone layer which forms a blanket that shields the earth from ultraviolet rays. Mangrove ecosystems are equally depleted wantonly to meet the demand for charcoal by local population. In trying to reduce pressure on the forest, one NGO in Boya, southwest Cameroon, is teaching local people how to transform residues from corn into pellets for cooking. Use, using pellets now, deforestation, deforestation has drastically reduced as trees like the mangroves that most of the people relied on are now safe. Secondly, it has provided an alternative source of energy to rural households. The beneficiaries have appreciated this alternative form of energy. Since I was taught to produce pellets, it has helped me a long way, especially financially. The money I was using to buy firewood, gas in my household, I use it to do many other things. My name is Jovian and I'm one of those who were trained for the pellet production process. So growing up, I've always seen my mother struggle up and down just to get money for firewood. Sometimes she even skip classes just to go and harvest firewood and it has always been very strenuous and costly. So training, training me for this, for this pellet production has really helped our family a lot. We've been able to save money which we have been using previous, during previous years for buying gas and firewood. It is hoped that technology can improve the quality of pellets to last longer given for now it burns very fast.